Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixie Parties here, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations, <laughs> when we left off. Kay's been jumping for a while. Yep, she's been jumping for 23 and a half hours. As you know, <laughs> continuity is key here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're ha we've been having to deal with this whole... <laughs> <laughs> kidnapping situation. And he's just and standing there. We finally time. got a way out of here, but I made her wait and do her thing. But now we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Yes, we spent entirely too much time in here. Yes, we have. 23 and a half <laughs> hours to be exact. Thank you, Edgeworth, for <laughs> catching on on that. Kidnappers who held me hostage in a mysterious Interpol agent. This case is only getting started, and I'll be the one to bring it to a resounding end. Woo. The 10 gallon. Hat, probably. I assume. Yeah. Yes. All right. Wild, wild west area. Where's Will Smith at? Ooh. Wow, wow. There's wow. a kidney. I see. Oh. <laughs> wow. Of course. That's Edgeworth's entrance. <laughs> Looks like it stopped raining for now. He can't do a superhero landing in that suit. <laughs> no, but he still tries to look Yeah, cool. and thank goodness you have no idea how hard it was, to, how hard it was raining earlier. <gasps> Mr. Edgeworth. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there I'm is. smart. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you managed to escape, sir. Who's he? I was so stressed that I thought my heart was gonna give out. This is that pathetic sounding guy. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, may I ask what in the world that is? Well, that's um Oh my Count off! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my <laughs> god. What? <laughs> Shifu! Oh, nine members here in the Gotta Force, Shifu? Uh. My god! Who in the. <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> uh. Um. I. <clears throat> I. Alright, I just gotta. Even if it's close to any of the voices, I just gotta go with, like. I gotta go with, like. Freaking, uh, not Gajio from Fairy Tale, but uh, Lightning Man. Oh, I can't remember his uh, name. The one that made me uh, all sad when Loxus? he had to leave. Loxus. There we go. He kind of <laughs> does remind me of him. <laughs> <laughs> the heck do you think you're doing, counting my cubs off like that? That's he does have that same vibe. You gotta channel that. Whoa, yeah. For, for <laughs> it's like if Gajio and Loxus fused. <laughs> In a way. <laughs> Every person is a, value, is a valuable human being. You get me? And everyone has a name that their parents gave to them. And no one is a two or a three. Everyone, regardless of age or rank, is number one. Got it? Um. Shifu! Shifu! <laughs> he kind of hot, though. You are, Angie, you are Agent Lang, I take it. You will for the hat, or just ask Shifu so rudely? <laughs> Uh, I just noticed MIB, Men in Black. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's redressing himself in the third person. I thought. I'm so confused because I thought Lang Z was the guy that was on the phone. Oh I no, thought those yeah, were really no, he's, different. he's Shifu. Yeah. So there's two. Uh, Lang? Do I have a profile thing? Because I'm getting lost here now all of a sudden. There was Lance Milo, okay, Faraday. Do we have an age on you yet? 17. Hey! So she hey, was, wait, was. She is. She is Maya's age when Phoenix met her. <laughs> but why was she stalking me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, no uh, and she Long Lang is a. Uh, or that's not even Lang Z. I don't even. There's so many. There's so many. There's so, so many Langs. So many names. Lang Z says. I don't even know who it is talking anymore. It's him. It's not. It is. Yeah. <laughs> a couple just expects another soon feels the disciplinary bite of an elder. So don't you ever forget to show the proper respect towards another person. Sheena. Sheena. I guess that's her. Yeah. This isn't much, but please accept my card. Huh. No, oh, thank you. Please accept mine in return. Trading cards. You all see that just now? That is the proper way for two people to show their respect. Keep that in mind and you'll get far in life. Got it? Huh. Oh my god, yes sir. <laughs> no, that's right. Francesca did warn me. Something about an elite Interpol agent from the oh. Republic of Zhang Fa. Apparently this man has the highest successful arrest rate in the organization. Jesus. Agent Lang, why exactly is Interpol agent involved with this clearly domestic case? It's none of your business, Mr. Prosecutor. How is it not? I've heard a rumor or two about you. He's the silhouette! He's got the two... two things that kind of look like horns, remember? 
the silhouette the at the beginning the, of from this? From the very, very beginning, yeah. at the, that held us at gunpoint? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, no, the silhouette in, at the start of the this episode. You know how it's a silhouette of a character every time? I don't remember. We were we were on a phone call and then we were in front of the... No, the, in the menu. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I thought you meant with the episode. No! Like, I thought you meant the episode the beginning. The I see what you mean. Literal beginning. I. It's see. him. I see. Yes, it is. So he's gonna be a big thing. You saw the murder that occurred during your flight home recently, right? <laughs> but you sure took a while just to arrest one little flight attendant. How pathetic. Listen. <laughs> I, how dare you say that about Miss Edgeworth? Are you saying you could have saw the faster pal? The comedic relief jumps to the aid of his master. How cliche. Look, what I'm getting at is if a friend, if I had been there, no one would have died. I would have <laughs> solved the entire case and Agent Hicks would still be with us here today. Agent Lang knew yesterday's victim, Agent Ackby Hicks. Hicks was like a brother to me, so now I'm out to take my revenge. Mm. Agent Hicks was investigating a smuggling ring with Francesca in a third person. I was going to say this would be the third person. This must be the man she was talking about. In that case, you should understand how I feel as the kidnap, as the kidnapped is someone I know. So I ask that you please allow me to participate in the investigation. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is your neatly trimmed courtroom of Eden, you know. You're in the wilderness now, Mr. Prosecutor, and way out of your league. No hurt feelings, but why don't you go back to your courtroom now, pretty boy? Oh boy. You, you dare mock the court? I do. And I don't need the help of a filthy prosecutor. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, but the truth doesn't need the likes of you to distort it today. Who used the adjective filthy to describe a prosecutor? Yeah. And why? Why do I feel such intense loathing emanating from him? Someone's got beef. All right, men. Good job on the perimeter around Gatewater Land. Now just find me the kidnapper and bring the punk to me. Dismissed. She looks sure. like that android lady. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. From that one video game. Yeah. Uh, B2? To be? To be? Yes. To be or not to be? B2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now then, Mr. Prosecutor, just sit right there and don't cause any trouble. Understand? But wait. And, and she's just... <laughs> <laughs> well, who was that guy? <laughs> but Miss Edgeworth. It's been a while since I last met someone so disagreeable. Why of all places did he show up here? And completely out of the blue at that. I suppose I'll have to ask Detective Gumshoe to fill me in on that. Well, yes, yeah, so, well then let's talk, Gumshoe. <laughs> hey, this music! <clears throat> yeah. Great job, oh, Detective. Oh man, old school. Sir! For losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. I... Sir! Oh. I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. Ooh. But, but the case isn't lost yet, sir. I've got to show you just how much of a man Dick Gumshoe can be. Shall I prepare the 21 gun salute now or later? Jesus. Okay, about Agent Lang, though. Detective, are you sure it was the pre. the. precinct you called for backup? Uh, of course, sir. I think I would know the number of my own precinct like the back of my hand. Then why didn't Interpol agent show up instead of an army of his own agents? Literally an army. That I have no idea. About five minutes after I made the call, the wolf man... Wolf. That, that wolf man showed up out of nowhere, sir. He is kind of like a wolf. <clears throat> yeah. Agent Lang definitely has an agenda. So the question is, what is he after? Next step. Mr. Edgeworth, I was wondering if I may ask about one thing, sir. Yes, what is it? Um, who is that? <laughs> the girl over there, I mean. I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Uh, assistant? <laughs> what? I need to recall making you my assistant. Okay. Yeah, I missed Edge with assistant. Me. It's been like that since forever. Sorry, but I just stole your supporting role. How can you say something so serious with that giant grin on your face, pal? <laughs> Miss Edgeworth, we got a thief on our hands, sir. She stole my role, sir. <laughs> how how <laughs> a little do you know how accurate that was? Yeah. I'm taking it and getting it convicted to make sure she serves out her sentence. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Like musical chairs. You'd better stay fast on your feet. No way. I won't. I will not lose the spell at you, little girl. Little, little girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drake and Josh. Oh, God, that's amazing. Do uh, you want to talk? Man, I can't calmly do any stealing at all with that detective around. I suppose it's not easy when there's this many members of law enforcement in the vicinity. It 
that's all right. Not like I'm in a hurry to steal just any old thing. Which is it? Uh, <laughs> do you plan on stealing something or not? Quite the mystery of this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. I love her. So, what do you want to do about your investigation into the kidnapping? Good question. Since Agent Lang holds the authority to investigate this case now, this makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on. You can't let that stop you. I'll even lend you a hand. So, let's go. But you're a self-purported great thief, are you not? I don't believe I can let someone of an unlawful nature participate in an investigation. You don't like to listen, do you? I'm not just any ordinary great thief. I'm the Yadagarasu. And as I said earlier, the Yadagarasu is after one and only one thing. My heart. <laughs> what if that is it? I don't even know, but... Oh, she stole it. Oh. She hasn't said anything yet, so... What is this one and only one thing you're after? The Yadagarasu is only interested in one thing. And that is the truth. I see. It was seven years ago. There was a vigilante who threw the business world into a panic. Labeled mysterious and phantom-like, the Adagrasu appeared and vanished at will. Though we still don't know much about this thief's ultimate goal, we do know the targets. The Adagrasu liked to find and make public evidence of corrupt dealings of all sorts. Oh yeah. Once the target was chosen, no dramatic calling card or announcement was sent forth. Instead, the Chosen Corporation was infiltrated with, without even the target noticing. Some days later, the evidence was found... Was the evidence that, the evidence that was found was sent out to the mass media, along with a card with the mark of a three-legged raven. Looking back, I suppose you could call it the Adagrasu was stealing the truth. That's right. Could this child really be the successor to the original Yadagarasu? That can't be. Can it? Apparently. <laughs> Uh, Lance, Lance, where are you, son? <laughs> oh, God. Here's the man. <laughs> oh, yep, your little Ma man. Mr. Romano? <laughs> oh, Miles, my boy. I'm sorry to involve you in such an affair just after you returned. <laughs> for you, Mr. Romano, I'm glad to offer my assistance. After all, I have you to thank for how well things turned out during my time abroad. If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to the law office. And had the chance to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. No, no, no. <laughs> Think nothing of it. As you know, man, Fred and I go way back. Uh -huh. I consider a beloved disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. Huh. If you ever want to go overseas again, you need only to ask. I can use my company's vast network to send you anywhere at any time. So who's the old man? He is the father of the current currently kidnapped Amano, Ernest Amano. Lance Amano, Ernest Amano. <laughs> wow. I forgot the kid's first name. Now then, have you found Lance yet? Uh, now then, have you found Lance yet, Miles? <laughs> Please. I miss my poor boy terribly. I'm terribly sorry, but your son's whereabouts remain unknown, Mr. Amano. What? Hold on there. Then what happened to all that money? Oh. I believe the one million has been stolen and the culprits are now on the run. <laughs> what? Poor old man. <laughs> Don't you have anything you can give him to cheer him up, Mr. Edgeworth? Forgive me, Mr. Amano. Uh, I can present with you uh, this bad badger's head. That is the no. gift I can present to you. <laughs> the um, blue badger butt. <laughs> about the kidnapping. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell me about the... Tell me the please details. Please tell me. If you could please, please tell me. <laughs> I say please. I don't say please. <laughs> yes, the you do. The details of the kidnapping one more time. It's written right there. Oh, it was yesterday. A call came to the house. From the receiver came the sound of my son. Help me, Daddy. <laughs> what happened to his accent? <laughs> <laughs> it's is his accent. It's not too crazy, just well, crazy enough. You turned into Will Powers instead of a, 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 a slightly southern Will Powers. Ah, it's fun. I know this is tough, but... Please stay with me here, Mr. Amato. You don't understand. He hasn't called me daddy in ages. It was incredibly moving. I wish you had recorded him saying that. He definitely should have recorded that conversation. Mm. But not for the foolish sentimentalities of an old man. Jesus. <laughs> Lance let, him, let him be a dad. <laughs> Good Lord. Refresh my memory. What kind of person is Lance again? I will tell you about Lance to help you get him back. Surprising, a lot can be deduced from a person's relationships and behaviors. Very well, then. Lance is my one and only son, and he turned 21 this year. He's very much like me when I was his age. 
kind and very attractive. <laughs> I'm sure women simply can't keep their hands off of him. Oh, Is there boy. anything else about him you noticed of late? Now that you mention it, I haven't been able to get in contact with our butler, Oliver. Your butler? Um. Yes, his name is Oliver Deacon. He's been with our family for years now. He gets along so well with Lance, I thought so oh, maybe he would know where my son is. Batman. <laughs> about, <laughs> about Oliver Deacon. Mr. Romano, could you please tell me a little more about your butler, Mr. Deacon? As a butler, he's outstanding. He even serves as Lance's personal private tutor. He took a brief re he put took a brief leave recently, but even after it was over, I haven't been able to rate you. Ernest, don't go out to the movies at night alone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you still haven't spoken with him since his leave? What about Lance his does not want to be Batman raised by <laughs> your butler. <laughs> <laughs> For real. What about his family and friends? They said they hadn't seen him. I've tried everything I could think of, Miles. Do you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? It's possible, but I can't say anything for sure quite yet. So even the person closest to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon. Sounds like one name I had better keep in mind. Huh. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's begin our investigation. Even if that Interpol agent holds the authorities to head this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by twiddling our thumbs. I'm with you 100% Miss Edgeworth, sir. I did gumshoe pledge to stick by your <laughs> side through thick and thin. He's still on that. <laughs> Mr. Mono, it was my fault that the culprits escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I've had to return lands to you myself. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> yeah. Look at gumshoe, gumshoe's face. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. He looks like, like a macho man. man I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, I've never even seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. All right. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's do some investigating. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. If you think I'm losing, I'm losing to you, pal. Forget it. <laughs> he feels threatened by a child. <laughs> it's great. He does. It's so. What should we examine first? Hmm. Thanks for lying. We can. We can't leave this area. But the corpse are here until very recently. True. Which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us how they escaped. Okay, let's get looking. Whoa. Hey, you there. No, I... I <laughs> oh, okay. That's yeah. the detective there. Oh, so yeah, and that's Gumshoe. Me? What are you doing goofing off in a place like this? I, I wasn't goofing off. I was about to help Miss Edgeworth kick off his investigation. You imbecile. <laughs> All precinct detectives are now under Agent Lang's direct command. Oh. Th no way. I am not working for Wolf Boy. <laughs> Miss Edgeworth, can't you do something? I'm not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you are a member of the police. Yep. Good, now let's go. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, but we got just jump a little. Well, just, that was yeah. exciting. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> what? Can't you tell I'm ready to get down to some detective work? You should go home. Your parents should be must be worried about you. Oh, come on. I finally get to be your assistant. You try to ditch me? I don't recall offering you the position. Mm, why do you have to be so difficult? Besides, it's already too late, you know. Like I said, I've already stolen the position of assistant a while back. <laughs> You're the only one asserting that. Well, by the time anyone notices, it's already gone. That's the Yadagurasu way. You shouldn't speak so lightly of things you don't kn you know nothing about. Fine, whatever. You win. Go ahead and do your little investigation. But the talented assistant K is going to tag along no matter what you say. And if she turns out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. <laughs> I might as well surrender and let her come along for the ride. <laughs> ah, children. <laughs> what? What was that? How you doing, sir? <laughs> You've got nothing to offer me. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, I'm going this oh way. Oh my god, I'm that was terrifying. Way. I'm going this way. Oh, we can't. Oh. I mean, uh, can't really go oh. in there, so I'll go talk to you. Hi. Oh. Hey, there's a bunch of footprints in the mud over here. I remember hearing rain fall out here while I was being held in there. Oh, that's right. Yep, it was just a passing rain. That's why the ground is pretty much dried up. I should be thankful. It left us some nice footprint samples. You know what? I bet if we follow them, we can find out where the kidnappers went. Plus, we'll be able to spot them because of their muddy shoes. I don't think it'll be that easy. Why not? Look carefully. There are quite a few different sets here. And we don't know which ones belong to the kidnappers. Oh, that's true. We don't know what kind of shoes they were wearing. 
Oh boy, we gotta find shoes. Oh Ugh. great. That's where that's where our lodge is taking us. You wanna talk, sir? Excuse me, but could you just let me through here? Sorry, I can't let him through Adrian Lang's orders. Ugh. Uh, I suppose we'll have to deal with this impasse for now. Can we talk to the cat? Uh, I'll touch the cat at least. Hello. Ha! I've got you now, you vile criminals! I think the kidnappers would have been would have better sense oh, than to try hiding in these. The barrels. Oh come on, lighten up, will ya? I was only joking. I don't really think that the criminals would be hiding here right in front of the two officers. Uh, I certainly hope not. What about the cat? Cat. What about, what about the cat? Do you not care about the cat? Do you just care about the barrels? Aww. Aww, there's nothing for the cat. Man. Well, I'll talk to this guy. Hey. <laughs> right in his face. Excuse, Excuse me. me. <laughs> but if you could just let me through here. <laughs> Sorry, can I even do Agent Lang's orders? He's so close to <laughs> his face. All right, and pass for now. Just like an intimidation technique. How about this little, this little horse stable thingy, whatever they call it? Hey, this, Mr. Edgeworth, is this one of those things you tie horses to? Yeah, one of those. I can't remember <laughs> what they're called. Yeah, so the horses are in another location at the moment. Aw, and here I was hoping I'd get to ride one. You know how to ride a horse? Nope, never rode one in my life. But I have an Asian friend who was born in the year of a horse. Non sequitur is the only way to describe <laughs> your logic. <laughs> I love non sequitur characters. That's great. How about these barrels? If these were real, I wonder what you'd put in them. Water would be the obvious answer. But if you stored water in a barrel under the blazing sun, wouldn't it go bad? People of that period probably didn't care about how it tasted. Sorry, but I can't let you get away with making fun of our forefathers. I mean, maybe they really like the strange taste. Look who's making fun of them now. <laughs> oh, I love Cactus. this. Ugh. You're just <laughs> Look! There's a blurb about the cactus here. This cactus is a very gracious gift to Gatewater Land from the local police precinct. I can't believe the police went so far as even donate a cactus to this place. So is the police department running a cactus farm on the side? Ah, just kidding. They wouldn't do something so silly. Actually, I have the vague impression I've seen a cactus <sighs> farm at the precinct before. Are you thinking what stay, I think you're stay thinking? Away, stay away, stay away. Oh, I oh. don't. I'm not, I'm not going to have much option here. It's so terrifying. Uh, excuse me, but if I could, if you could just let me through here. It's Sorry, way too tall. Hand my daughters. Oh. Uh, do this door. <laughs> of course, there's a paint on this garage door to complete the Wild West theme. It looks so lifelike, don't you think? Are you thinking of wrangling or rather stealing them? If you can coax them out of there, sure. Come on, I know you can sweet talk them out. I could be holding a cube of sugar in my hand and they wouldn't budge, Kay. Yes, they would. It's like Harry Potter. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm going to stand as far away as I can. I'm going to stand it as, <laughs> as, at, at, from a distance. <laughs> <gasps> this is cursed. Oh, my God. Hi. <gasps> hey, it's the blue badger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Badger, get I really don't understand why she is so excited over this badger hunt. Speaking of badgers... That's right, you gotta take pictures of them. There's a person inside of there. Mr. Badger, I wonder if, if you might share with me what you saw. I, yeah, he's doing that contorted wriggling dance again. Right to the music, too. Aha! Uh, is that Meekins? Oh my god. I could Ooh tell instantly from just the way they stylized his face. If I come here, come here, sir. I'm sorry, right the head, sir. Oh my god. Aren't yes. you, Officer Meekins? <laughs> sir. Mike Meekins, report of duty, sir. Oh this man god. was a witness in one of the cases I headed two years ago. About the only thing I remember about this officer is that uh, he often spoke and acted before he thought, which gave me a great deal of headaches. Yeah. Is he a friend of yours, Mr. Edgeworth? Don't say friend. Best I've, friend? I've, I've met him in the courtroom once BFF? before. BFF? <laughs> oh, why was he so upset when we unmasked him? Does he have something to hide? His dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Meekins, why are you standing that here face. wasting time? Sir! Oh, God. Because I'm not a police officer right now, sir! I'm a blue badger! Sir! And I'm creating memories and dreams for the kids! That's never a waste of time, sir! I have a dream to come out with his dignity, and I'm sir! Well, that, you've already made wow. it there, I'm pretty sure. I mean, 
He's literally just an <laughs> ant under my boots sometimes. You're like you're more like a worm, but worms are bigger than ants in my opinion, so. I was driving this the scorching boring beat until a little while ago. When the dispatch radio on my shoulder crackled that the kidnappers had escaped, sir! Sir! I thought maybe this was my shot at making making detectives, sir! I wish I never to join in! But when I got here, there was a sea of people already! Sir! And I couldn't spread my trademark friendliness and join on anyone, sir. <laughs> oh, it's it would sad. seem that some people never change. Okay, <laughs> why are you the blue badger, though? <laughs> so, why exactly are you in that ridiculous outfit? Sir! That's because, sir! I'm here to keep the visitors in good spirits, sir! But it's also to hide the fact that I'm an officer and I'm the trail of the sir! Oh. I see. Agent Lang is very wise to employ this sort of diversionary tactics. To be handed by the role of the blue badger out of all the different disguises, sir! It's... It's such an honor! <laughs> sir! Okay, what the hell do you know? <laughs> Please tell me you know something. That is such a Saitama face right there. I know, right? <laughs> How long have you been standing here, officer? <laughs> sir! Sir! For about one little hour, sir! <laughs> huh. It's around the time I woke up from being knocked unconscious. Oh my god. And I've been here ever since, sir! That's true, then it's possible <laughs> Officer Meekin saw the kidnappers <laughs> escaping. But, 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 but however, sir! I must tell you, I didn't see a thing, sir! I haven't asked you anything yet, officer. No, 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 but, but, but I know you will, sir. He's hiding something uh... from me. Officer Meekins, I insist that you tell me more about your recent movements. Sir, I've been playing the blue badger with this whole time, sir, and getting into it, too. I patrolled the park all while wearing this costume, sir. And about an hour ago, I came over here, sir. I haven't seen any suspicious looking people this whole time, sir. But I did see a badger, sir, a lone blue badger. What you said just now is contradicted to the facts. I've missed this guy. How so, Mr. Edgeworth? This is what Officer I've Meekin's really, testimony I've, contradicts. I've really missed... I've missed this man. <laughs> I, uh... He's one of those characters you don't realize you've missed until you see him again after a long time. You're just like, you know what? I missed this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's gonna be this, because there should only be one of each. Because if he saw yeah. a regular blue badger, then that wouldn't be possible. Mm -hmm. Because he is the blue badger. Officer Meekin's, let's back things up. I'd like to ask you about your last statement. Sir, of course, sir. And it's anything that was Mr. Prosecutor, sir. This <laughs> little patrolman will wait as long as I am commanded to wait, sir. You're just adding sir now yes. and there isn't one. <laughs> you said that you saw a blue badger, correct? And yet if you take a look at this, what you saw was not supposed to happen. Yeah. This park is supposed to have only one of each badger in at any given time. Which means that as long as you are the blue badger, Officer Meekins, you should not have seen another blue badger wandering the premises. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Then that would mean that there are two blue badgers walking around? But why? Huh. Uh, well, um, that's a great, uh, da 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 question. I wish I could have an answer for it. I kind of want a blue badger plushie. Just I put it in the corner of our room. I refuse. And have it just stare at you. <laughs> I refuse. Now, I only have two. Well, I have three pieces of logic now. Buy some uh, glow in the dark have... paint. Paint his eyes. <laughs> please, please don't. <laughs> put it in the closet. Open the closet door a little bit and just see him peeking out. I, I refuse to let this be a thing. <laughs> Ooh. A second blue badger that shouldn't exist. Yeah. Clearly the true identity of the person underneath is... Oh, I know! It's one of the kidnappers, right? The person who wore a costume to get away! That would be correct. And that could help uh, precisely after all the costumes that went missing from the storage area are... A blue badger, a proto badger, and a bad badger. Yes, those three. So there are three phony badgers running around in this park somewhere, huh? There are. <laughs> and... We now know that they were wearing a costume when they escaped, so we should look for those costumes. We should look for a blue badger costume. Footprints. Shoe. Footprint yeah, marks. just have Meekins lift up his foot. <laughs> just be like, hey, make a, f make a footprint here. Now that we know that the kidnappers were wearing badger costumes, those footprints from earlier take on a new and very significant meaning. Oh, you mean now, now we know which tracks belong to the kidnappers, right? Yes, more than shoe prints, we need to follow the paw prints of badgers. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, time to use those footprints and go badger hunting. Badger, 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 bad
long ago neo old Tokyo style. Uh, uh, what? I have no idea. Um, hmm. Oh. Mm, so we're looking for footprints made by a costume. Hey, I think I found them. There are two sets here. They both do look like possible candidates. This set is walking off to the west. Ah, it just stops. I can't make heads or tails of where it's headed from here. I think we can assume it's headed towards the stadium. Hmm. I wonder where the other set leads. This one seems to be headed east. And probably leads to our friend over here, Mr. Meekins. Hey, <laughs> Meekins. Huh? Oh, I don't got <laughs> Quick, Mr. Edsworth, I've got him. I got one of the culprits. Ah, no, I'm not getting him, sir. <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> uh, down, K. Clearly, this happens to the office of Meekins. <laughs> Our criminals were each wearing a Just costume. Just frothing at the mouth. Aha. Maybe they came over to this garage for something. That's what I would suppose. Officer Meekins, if you could step aside they for a moment. They wanted to steal one of the horses to get away. Like a getaway <laughs> car, but a horse. We need to examine the garage. Sir, Roger Wilco, sir. <laughs> and we're gonna go examine this garage next time. Ooh, I'm excited! Oh my, this is getting good. It is.